My friends, I hope you all are doing well. What I have here is the Teton Sports Vista two-person tent. This is a quick setup tent, meaning that basically you take this out of the package and you could just set it up with like one pool. Now recently I began taking a look at Teton Sports products again. It has been some years. I started with the Mountain Ultra tent, which has absolutely blown my mind. It is 100% waterproof and it features the best quality that I've ever seen in a budget-friendly tent. It was so impressive, in fact, that I decided to move on to other Teton Sports products, including this, the Vista 2. That's what this episode is all about. It's about this tent, and this is a first look. Before we do a component breakdown, let's take a look at the size of this tent. In its stowed form, this is 33 inches long, seven by seven. This is a very big tent. You receive the storage bag, some tent stakes. These are the tent stakes that are included. You get six of these. You receive a gear caddy. Here's the fly. It is separate. And here is the body along with the poles. To erect the tent, up here at the top you have cordage. Basically put your hand down on the top, pull on that cordage, and check that out. <laughs> Just like that, the tent is set up. You can see this piece of plastic right here. This locks the tent into place and then unlocks it. Allow me to show you all that again. So you have the cordage at the top, right here is where you put your hand. Start bringing it up, push down, and then you lock it into place. To break the tent down, let me show you the process from this angle. So again, you unlock. From the top here, you pull up while pushing down on the base. Just like that, everyone, the tent is set up, minus the fly. That is so incredibly easy. The body is already connected to the poles. So basically all you have to do is just unfold it, pull up, lock it into place, and then put the fly on. It does not get any easier than that. Before I put the fly on the tent, I'd like for you to pay close attention to the shape of this tent. You can see that it swoops back. The center of the tent is right back here, more towards like the back or maybe the head, however you want to look at it. But it's not directly in the center of the tent itself. It's an interesting design. With the fly, it will only go on one way. On the body, you can see that it says Teton Sports. With the fly, it says Teton Sports. Make sure that these are on the same side of the tent and you're good to go. All right, everyone, as you can see, the tent has been set up. So you have two doors, one on each side. You have a vent on the back side of the tent. What I don't like is that the back and the front of this tent, they are flush with the body. So check that out. In situations where you have to have the doors closed, you're missing out on a ton of ventilation because of this. The fly lays against the body. It also introduces condensation to the inside of the tent. That, in my opinion, is a mistake. That is something that Teton Sports needs to correct. If the users had the ability to pull this out, they could still get airflow from this side and the other side. But as is, that's not possible. When you're inside of the tent, you can see the issues with the fly coming into contact with the body. There is no separation right here. I mean, virtually none at all. Let's say that you're in the situation where you're inside of this tent, it's raining all night long, condensation's forming on the walls, right? Because the fly can't be pulled away from the body, you're getting less airflow. And also the moisture is coming into contact with the body and will come inside of the body. That is an issue, it's a major oversight. And I'm surprised to see it, to be honest. In my opinion, that's a pretty big deal. You can't control the weather and you want really good ventilation and you want really good condensation control. With this tent as is, you're going to have issues. You're going to have problems, especially here at the front of the tent. The back side over here is pulled away just a little bit more than the front is. There's a storm flap that goes over the zippers and the doors, they can be rolled back. And that's true on both sides. You have two-way zippers, a huge opening on both sides. Getting inside of this tent is very easy because the openings are so big. You do have a bathtub floor that sticks up roughly five inches. On the inside of this tent, you have a ton of space. It's very tall. This is perfect for two people. You have two mesh pockets. You have the gear caddy, which you have to install, but that's very simple. And the seams are taped on the body and also on the fly. Over here is one of the vestibules. This is very, very small. 
not much is going to fit inside of here. I've already gone over the pack dimensions. This thing is huge. You're not going to put this inside of your backpack. That's almost impossible. The dimensions of the tent when it's set up, it is 82 inches long, it is 60 inches wide, and it is 41 inches tall. One bit of information that I had a hard time finding about this tent was the materials. The company states the fly materials, but nothing else. According to Teton Sports, the fly is a 75 denier 190T taffeta. After going hands-on with the body, I suspect that it's made from a polyester of some sort. The retail price of this tent is $120, and you can find this in numerous colors. There's gray and silver, there's brown, green, and yellow. And you can find a number of accessories for this tent, including cots and an extended rain fly that works with a cot and goes down below that cot. As far as versions of this tent, there's a one-person and a two-person tent. With the two-person tent here, if you want to use this with a cot, you would have to have two cots. With the one-person version, one cot. Overall, the quality of this looks to be very good. I did notice a few loose threads here and there. All in all, these are no big deal. Concerning the size of this tent and also the weight, this is a car camping tent, an overland tent. This is not a backpacking tent by any stretch of the imagination. All in all, everyone, I like what I see here with this tent. I'm excited to get this out, to test it out, to see just how waterproof it is. Speaking of which, that will be coming up very soon. Will this tent leak in a rainstorm? We shall see together. Teton Sports does not provide a hydrostatic head rating, so who knows what that is with this shelter. Overall, these are my thoughts, everyone. The setup process of this is incredible. I should say that the setup process and the way that you pull everything up and it kind of pops out, that is not unique. I've seen other companies do this, and I would say 90% of those tents absolutely suck. Hopefully, this tent will be an exception. I've only seen the instant setup design with Chinese tents. So this is the first time from an American company, even though it's made in China. Hopefully this will be good. We shall see. With that being said, so far it does look promising. And plus, Teton Sports does have a good track record. Now everyone, I'm looking forward to your feedback. Comment down below, share your thoughts. What do you all think about the Vista 2 tent? What do you all think about the size of this thing? What do you all think about the cost? What do you all think about the setup? There's a lot to like here. A few disappointments. I'm, I'm really disappointed with the fact that you can't pull the fly out on the sides. Teton Sports has been around for a long time. They should know better. When you have a one-person tent and the fly doesn't pull away from the front and back, it's not that big of a deal because it's such a small amount of space. But when you have a big tent like this, it becomes a bigger issue. This aspect does disappoint me, but luckily this is not a backpacking tent. You can easily address this yourself and you could do so for a low price. That wraps it up for this episode, folks. Hit the like button before you go. You can also support the channel if you'd like to. The Outdoor Gear Review is agenda free. I'm not trying to sell products. I am here to share information and my insights, and that's it. If you want to join the Wolf Pack on Patreon or on YouTube, it is appreciated. Take care, my friends. Be well, strength, and honor.